Virginia, that just broke my heart, Gag is the, the big the one point way in West Virginia as I got a 500 hour thread sitting listening to the game. Hey Bob and Billy, if it wasn't for you I'd be extremely pissed off right now. Oh by the way, cat for sale. I'll sell you my cat. Frat, you can win my cat in the giveaway. Along with that $250 I just showed the crowd. Where'd that go? I've been saving this shit for fucking ever. You guys gotta win this 250 bucks. It's burning a hole in my pocket. I might only be able to let you win 100 of it because I uh, believe I'm gonna got 100 of it for, for a wicked ass picture of himself. If he's got the most likes, I don't know if the most likes. Bob and Bill, quit your love books. I'm on Shit Talkers TV. I think I'm weak. At Madison Square Garden. They'll think I'm weak or an evil genius. Maybe they think I'm an evil genius instead. Um, this is something I certainly will, will treasure forever. But I hate as, as uh, was said on the tape, I do. I hate I, cats. And also, I don't have one of those things going to cue cards. So Good I'm thing he thinks he's a dog. The other dog thinks he's a dog. Tonight. He's the leader of the pack. Yeah, that's the way it's I got, going. Two dogs, and like the neighbors have got three or four dogs, and he's the leader of the pack. They run around and chase other cats so he can, they will bay him. Have you ever heard this word term? Oh, get off me. If you're probably not from West Virginia or country boy, then you probably wouldn't know what baying is. Baying is when a dog will run something to a tree or him it in a hole, and they'll stand there and bay it until you get there. Or until an, uh, the killer gets there, a.k.a. Baba Booey, a.k.a. Baba Boosh. They'll get a cat, they'll hem it up, sit and bark at it until the, he comes, finds them. He jumps in, whoops the fucking cat, puts it back on the run. The dogs the dogs go off on the run and again. They run, run motherfucker to a tree. And Baba Booey climb up the tree and whoop him, knock him out. He'll hit the ground. They'll bay him again in another tree. He'll come up in the tree to get away from the dogs, get bayed, then the ball boosh will come and destroy him. There I boosh. You like my you like my new necklace? You like my new necklace? Best guy I ever had. Poor old fellas running around down in Chapville, down the Ville, in the projects, in the hood. Well, they got them 900 apartments in like that five foot of feet, feet space. And he was running back and forth playing Frogger with fucking cars. He ran out in front of my truck and I almost ran over. I said, well, you ain't playing Frogger in the war, homie. And I just grabbed him, picked him up beside the dumpster and threw him in my truck. And I got done weed eating and cleaning him up and putting in windows and installing doors and putting in installing locks and all that shit. His ass came home to me. The very first time you stood in the locker room to give a pep talk. That's a special place, Jimmy locker room, speaks for coaches to give a talk. So my idol as a coach was Anybody Vince Lombard. Anybody's money, I'll try to afford to spend and share. Commitment to excellence the big foundation is awesome And in the book, awesome Lombardi place, talked so. about the first time he spoke before his Green Bay Packer team in a locker room. They were losers. And I'm reading this, and Lombardi said he was thinking it should be a long talk, a short talk. But he wanted to be emotionally, so he did. And this is what he did. Normally you get in the locker room, I don't know, 25 minutes, a half hour before the team takes the field. You do the last and then you give the great new rock beat talk. We all do. Speech number 84. You pull right out. You get, you get ready. Get your squad ready. This is the first one I ever gave. And I read this thing with Barney. What he said was he didn't go in. He waited. His team was wondering, where is he? Where is this great go? He's not there. Ten minutes. He's still not there. Three minutes before us to take the field, Lombardi comes in, bangs the door open. And I think that you all remember what great presence he had, right? Great presence. And he walked in, and he just walked back and forth like this, just walked, staring at the players. And he said, all eyes on me. I'm reading this in this book. And I'm getting a picture of this Lombardi before the, his first game. And he said, gentlemen, we will be successful this year. 
You can focus on three things and three things only. Your family, your religion, and the great baby. And, he, uh, and the rest of it, they knocked the walls down. The rest was history. I said, ask you. I'm going to do it. I'm going to use that. I'm going to steal that. Use it next year. Football. I gotta try to remember it. I'm glad I typed that. I don't know that he would be a first down because then I would start to have to look at mm, how many playoff games he's playing, he won a championship, he's in the passing air, they throw the ball a lot. Did you try to start to do all of that? Was he the best wide receiver of his? Nine years that he played in the National Football. Probably so. If he was on a better team, could he carry that team to a championship? Probably so. I think he gets so. in. I just don't know if he gets in. Probably get a cap crown. I don't want no cap crown. Keyshawn J. Will and Zubin. Weekday mornings at 6 Eastern on ESPN Radio. Your smart speaker or on ESPN News. <laughs> Shit, I don't know all these files are all over here. Hold on. Individuals and businesses with tax We're done. problems. Listen carefully. YouTube you and shit like talkers. You're losing control of your finances. If you owe over ten thousand dollars. What's up, Richie? Or have oh, nigga. Returns, we can help you take back control. Go Cowboys, the dog. The largest and most aggressive collection agency in the world, and they can seize your bank account. Hold on, Richie. We need to talk. We, you need to talk, bro. You cool talk, Rich? You see how important I got? I shut all the noisemakers down. Richie, you ready to listen? You ready to talk? No. He left. Okay. Well, screw you, Richie. I was going to talk to you about the Dallas Cowboys and the state of the franchise, but you, I guess you are not able to handle it. Damn, I'm sexy. Even for fucking 10 o'clock at night or 11 o'clock, whatever it is, I'm sexy as fuck. Oh, look at me. I got a tan on me. Oh, oh, I'm so sexy. God, just imagine if you watched all of this. <laughs> You're making me of money so please don't stop i'm not making fun of you youtube sent me a check well not a check a thing where they say well, i won't get a check if i keep my numbers up and keep putting out shows so uh i don't know what i'll say it i'll take it back all right guys that's it for us from deadpool and his trusty co-host, Chad, from Shit Talkers TV. Make sure you like and subscribe. Hit the shit out of that notification bell. Karate kick the fucking shit out of that notification bell. Right, check it, you motherfuckers. Make it go ding. So every time I'm on, you guys can ding, get a notification ring. Don't be a jackass. Listen to Deadpool or be a fucking fool. All right, guys. I'm off here. Until next time, if you want some, I'll be in the comments, bitches. Come get some. Chief Shit Talker out.